There it goes, right. Here I am in the central Vienna train station. About to get a train across the border to Slovakia, to their capital city, Bratislava. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just one of these things, isn't it? Like, it's like when I was in Denmark, the Swedish border was just like an hour, an hour away, so, so I was like, why not? So yeah, I've been to Slovakia a handful of times, but only to like drive through it. <laughs> or like, you know, stop by a few places. Like I've never actually properly been to Slovakia. So this would be my first proper trip to Slovakia, but it's only a day trip. So if you can count that as a proper trip. But anyways, I'll stop waffling and uh, I'll see you in Bratislava in three, two, one. Cool. And here I am now in a different country. So yeah, welcome to Bratislava. So, all right, first place on my list is, as you might have guessed, an ossuary. Now, there's only one ossuary in the whole of Slovakia and it's close to the public, <laughs> right? Yeah, I know, good start, right? But basically, I'm gonna go to where the chapel is. Oh, what, where was the chapel? I'll explain that more detail later and see what I can see just investigate it basically what I've read of about it, about it so far is that there's only like two tours a year <laughs> when they are I don't even know so yeah I mean I'm just gonna go up to where the location is if I can see anything from the outside I'll see what I can see if there's anyone I can ask you know can I go in <laughs> you know bribe somebody <laughs> um, yeah, I'll try that. I'm just gonna try my luck with it. If I don't, you know, if I don't get to see anything, at least I can show you guys where it is and, you know, you guys can probably try your luck if you're ever in this city. So, yeah, let's keep marching on. Yeah, and also, <laughs> on a train here from Vienna, no one checked my ticket, right? And ever since I've been in Vienna, all the, the trains, and that's right, all the trams, all the buses, Ticket around the city, no one's asked for a ticket. The only time someone's asked for a ticket was when I was uh, traveling, traveling to Egenburg. So that's it. And I've got a lot of, so I've got a lot of public transport since I've been in Austria. And yeah, I've only been asked for a ticket or well, twice. Once on the way, on the way to Egenburg, and once on the way back to Vienna. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to have a cheap day trip to Slovakia, well, you can probably try your luck jumping on without a ticket. But don't hold me responsible if you get caught. <laughs> right, yeah, but so far, like in the city, you know, cool buildings like that around. It's like a, so for my first impressions, it's like a more chilled out Prague. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, let's look for it. Let's go, guys. I'll be going in because it's beyond this. Uh, yeah, seem to be some construction going on. But you can see the sign there. It says Saint James Chapel. Uh, okay, very very bad start. So well, let me just walk around. Is there anyone I can see? So, hey, can I see the ossuary, please? Yeah, but you got oh, oh, the, okay. There's people in there. The cement and right, there's a couple of people there. What's going on here? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna ask. I'm just gonna ask. Excuse me, how you doing? Um, sort of ask, is this close to the public completely? So, there's no, is there any opportunity to see the ossuary like at all? What, what time of year is it open? What time of year is it open? I heard is it like two tours a year or something like that? Do you know what I'm talking about? The the bones in the os in the church in the, in the chapel? No idea. <laughs> no idea what I'm talking about. All right. I mean, is it, is it, is it totally no no possibility I can have a look inside today? No. All right. So sorry about you guys. Okay. 
give it a try. You don't know. You don't ask, you don't get and all that. But right, yeah, I didn't want to I didn't know what to do it. I didn't know what I was all about. You can see the chapel there. What was the chapel? So basically basically that was discovered back in 1994. And yeah, they found the ossuary beneath it. Yeah, there's people got going in and out on ladders and uh so yeah, I don't know what they're doing, eh? It's obviously just some reconstruction to it to make it accessible, I guess. So yeah, I won't be going into there today. They didn't really know what I was on about, so the ossuary or the bones, but I didn't know if that was just a language barrier or just my incredibly hard to understand accent or the fact that I just talk really fast. <laughs> oh well, um, but yeah, this is where it is. I put on a Google Maps where it is now. So yeah, that's disappointing. Um, what I might do, you might come back a bit later and try my luck. Um, no dice. Then it's just the way it is. Um, but okay, um, what I will do though, if I do find any pictures online I can use off the Austria to show you, here it is right now. But anyways, lots of street food around here. So I might indulge. Uh, let's see what I can see from here. Yeah, you can see remnants of the chapel from there. Kind of. Anyway, I don't want to annoy them. They probably think, who is that weirdo that wants to come into this thing that we're trying to reconstruct just to see some bones? I didn't know what I was on about. Oh well. Like I said, I'll try, I might try my luck again later. But anyways, let's see what uh, food they have on offer. That was actually really nice. Not bad for 11 euros. Anyways, so yeah, it's a bit disappointing about that. This, uh, oh well. This is a few, few more things to see. So next one. It's just around the corner, and it is a church, which I just looked up, it's not open, but to be honest, it's the uh, outside I wanna, of it I want to see anyways, so uh, yeah, let's go check that out. Right, coming up to it now, and yeah, what a view, check this out. known as the blue church simply because well i don't even say do i <laughs> um why it's blue i didn't actually know um but apparently it's all blue inside and i think it might actually be open because i did see the, the main door was open so let's have a look damn that's, that's pretty awesome catholic church it's very blue <laughs> is, it, is it open See. Oh, this door's open. Let's get on here. Oh, it's open. Let's go. Can go as far as this gate? But uh, this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. This tree just closed. Yeah, I can tell. Pretty neat. Outside in the exterior. <laughs> Check this out. That's blue as well. Like I said, I can't find anywhere that tells you why it's a blue church. Like, why is it? Why? What's with the blue? It's, uh, it doesn't matter too much from this. Pretty cool building. Don't think I've ever seen a fully blue church before. Especially, you know, coming from England. So, there you go, guys. Make of that what you will. The blue church in the Bratislava.
Right, so next up is the Bratislava City Museum. Um, simply because, you know, why not? I do like uh, museums. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. So, sorry dude. Um, I'm gonna get run over. Right, so. It's only a short walk away anyway, so since it's so close, I'm gonna get ticked off my list. So, yeah. Things are, things are like a five minute walk away. So yeah, let's march on. Right, okay, so this has to be the old town of the city. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful day for it as well. I'm really liking this so far. This is definitely already been worth coming from Vienna from before. Right, I think the museum is right ahead of me. Yep, I can see people on the tower. So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to getting up there. Right, let's go in. Hey, I'm in. I mean, I kind of know why people don't like museums because they find them quite overwhelming. Because look, you know, it's not a lot to go through. And you feel like you're sort of obliged to look at everything. I don't look at everything when I'm in the museum, guys. I just, you know, like with this, okay, what have we got? Wall hanging, all the crews, uh, textiles, metal grey, some of the from 1750. Very cool. So these are obviously, I'm going to one of these from here yeah, from 1500. I like that one, that's cool. So, you know. If you're one of those people that just gets too overwhelmed by museums and struggle to take it all in, just don't feel obliged. But these are cool. Look at that. That's wicked. Because you know, I don't like spending hours and hours at one place in the museum either. That's really cool. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, this is really good. Yes, yeah, so these are all from like 17th century. Pretty cool. So, yeah, when you go to a museum, it's just like that. I'm already, I'm already in and out of that room. And, yeah, uh, some embroidery room, that sort of thing. See, this, that's not really my sort of thing, so I see that. Okay, cool, but I'll just move on. Um, but yeah. So let's keep wandering through. We're already going up to the tower. <sighs> right, look, I've got, I've got a weird phobia, guys, of spiral stairs. Please don't ask me why. I hate spiral stairs. I always have. Is there, is, is there an actual word for being scared of spiral steps? It's alright. Please don't know what it is. I love to know what it is. Yeah, I just hate spiral steps. They actually really freak me out. <laughs> okay. What's this? Doctor of Andreas Faust, 1896 to 1972. Town archivist and head of the scientific institutes of the town of Bratislava. Cool. This must have been his office. What? You know, he had a nice uh, office view. <laughs> I don't know what we can see from the camera, but let's over the old town. Alright. Okay, let's see where this leads. What was 
this uh, in the 14th century. The town was already be protected by being encircled by the stone fortification walls. In addition, the rich burkers protected their houses and courtyards with their own fortifications. There's me. Nah, I'm not gonna. <sighs> right, yeah, I didn't mean that. Maybe I should have used that to the top. I just nearly fell down a step, didn't see what was there. See what, I just keep going. See, I'm not gonna read every info plaque I see. It's being at the museum, it's just gotta make it what you can. Okay, in here. Okay. This is the part where I can actually go outside. Steve, open me. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at that. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not the best with heights, guys, but look at that. Stunning. Right, I don't want to drop the camera, so I'm going to turn it off for a minute, but back in a minute. Yeah, I'm actually relieved. It doesn't go any further. Right, there's people coming up, so I'm going to let them in. Um, but yeah, I'm not the best of lights, so I wasn't out there for long. Um, right, let's wait for these guys to come up and see what's next. worth eight euros especially that you get to go all the way up there to that tower so yeah how long was he in there for I don't, I don't know less than an hour but um that wasn't bad right so the next place i think will probably be the most obvious place and that's a castle um but, oh yeah here we go let's check this out this square This is like the old town of Bratislava. It's really, really, really picturesque. Right, let me just figure out what I'm going to do next and uh, we'll keep going. Uh, yeah, I am going to head to the castle. It's only a 10 minute walk away, so yeah, let's go. 
Right then. So this is really as far as you can get. Oh, there are, are opening times apparently. Okay, it's between 8 and 10. Oh, right, yeah, it's between October and end of March. And we're only in mid March. Um, but yeah, I think you basically come here basically for the view. Yeah, it's not disappointing, guys. So look. That's the River Danube. Goes from Austria, flows into Hungary as well. So this is the third country I've been to. Actually in the Danube. Right, let's get a bit further up. Let's see what the view's like from up higher. Yeah, you can see the whole city from, from up here, guys. It doesn't cost anything to, to walk along here either, so yeah, if you're, if you're about, guys, just do it. Anyways, I just saw on Google Maps something very close that just uh, took my interest and I'm going to have a quick look. Two seconds. This is the Bratislava Witch and it's basically put there to sort of uh, commemorate all the witches, well, all the people that were wrongly accused of being a witch, into the Danube River. So, I've really, really just come across this. I don't know how old it is. I'm not sure what the ravens represent. But it's pretty cool. So, I think to, to most people, this will not really seem like have to have much significance to it, but no, nah, that's really cool. Nice little charm. I like it. I'm wondering if this chapel here, this little, no, little church there has got anything to do with it. So, yeah, since it's right there, I'm going to pick my head in and have a look. Yeah, see, the first thing I see, I'm actually quite disgusted by it. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at that. I mean, yeah, that's cool, like the face and there and everything. But guys, I think 420, it's like, on a bloody church like this. You know, it looks all around here. Honestly, it's sickening. You know, I hate graffiti like this anytime, let alone in a you know, historical building like this. Honestly, the arrogance of such people. For that aside, oh, is this even open? All right. So, whatever this is, it's shut off completely. It's like an abandoned little chapel. Doesn't matter, it's still an historical building that should not be defaced. Yeah, I think the main entrance to it is just here. Let's have a look. Okay. So no, it is open, I think. I think that's what it is, it sort of dates when surfaces are held. So regardless, yeah, but regardless, <laughs> leave it alone. Christ. Oh well. Anyway, that was a nice little unexpected surprise. The Blessed Slava Witch. So, right, let me just plan out what I'm going to do next. I mean, what's the time? Okay, so it's half one in the afternoon. I'm planning to get the train back around four. So I've got couple of hours left so yeah let me think about what I'm doing next guys and uh, yeah talk to you shortly right that gives you there I wasn't planning on going in but I've just read on Google that you can see skulls in the crypt beneath so obviously I'm suddenly in um, so don't Hold my words with it, guys, but I think you might be able to see some skulls in this uh, video in Bratislava after all. So uh, let's hope, fingers crossed. Let's go have a look. Right, this is it. 
Oh, <laughs> well, in queue again. Seems like every time I approach like a church or a cathedral, the church bells go off. But yeah, let's go have a look. Oh, is there any photography allowed in here? Hang on. Okay, it doesn't say anything about photography. Just no speakers. Yeah, it should be alright. Let's have a look. Fail. <laughs> oh, I was really excited when we got into the crypt and sort of running around, like, where are the skulls? Where are the skulls? There was like this um, closed off bit where beyond the gate that was shut off, I could see like there was like these coffins in like a sort of little uh, room, like a little, like a little sort of cemetery within the crypt, if you know what I mean. And um, I'm gathering there must have been a net. But the last little shut off. So it just seems today that the dead, the human remains that are resting in the, the cathedrals and uh, the crypts of the uh, chapels just don't want to be disturbed today. So that's fair enough. So I'll leave them in peace and just accept the fact that I'm not going to be seeing any Slovakian ossuaries of any sort. Whatever. That's all good. Um, st it's still an awesome crypt though. Definitely check it out. There's really cool crypts in here. In fact, it's just a generally a very cool cathedral. Definitely want to add to the list if you come here. Right, and once again, right, well, I'm just going to think about what I'm going to do. I need to grab a drink first. So we, yeah, let, me, let, me, let me grab a drink and uh, yeah, plan my next move. Okay, there is like a war memorial I wanted to see, it's about a half an hour walk away. So I'm not really quite feeling it now. So what I'm gonna do is just basically find someone to chill out for a bit before I get my train back to Vienna. So the plan is now <laughs> sit down oh, and just chill. I'm gonna head to the, the main historical center of the city now because it was so stunning. And I know they've got places to sit. <laughs> Bear with me, so yeah. Once in there, just gonna chill out until my train back. So, tell you what, I'll uh, wrap this up in Vienna. So, see you in Vienna in three, two, one. <sighs> back in my hotel room. Yeah, it's been a good day, guys. Yeah, no, uh, no rats, no mice this time. So yeah, it's been a great time in uh, Vienna. This is my last night here, and. Um, it's been good. I've been here since Monday. So that's, you know, four days and I haven't been bored. It's been good. So yeah, hope you enjoyed my time. Well, I enjoyed my time. I said, I hope, I hope you enjoyed following me in my time in Vienna. That's what I meant to say. And um, in, a, in and around the city as well, like obviously in Eckenberg and uh, Bratislava today. Tomorrow I am jumping on a train to Budapest, but I will not be doing any filming because I'm going to be catching up with old friends and uh, I got, yeah, I'm just you know, preoccupied. But yeah, uh, the next country you'll see me in will be Rome. That's the city. <laughs> the next city you'll see me, see me in is Rome, but uh, yeah, in Italy. So um, I look forward to that. I've been wanting to go, go to Rome since forever, so it's about time I take that off the list. Anyway, folks, yeah, thanks again, and um, leave a comment, like, like the video, share around, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in Rome. Cheers, guys.